My name is Martin Wiesner. I'm the owner of Wiesner Design, where we design and manufacture parts for classic Porsches, for motorsport and electric vehicle conversions. We have also created the world's most detailed scale model Porsche 911 engine. Everything I do starts with a 3D scan. In this case, every single part had to be scanned in super high detail and then brought into CAD to create a version that can be printed, that can be assembled, and then the final process is really finding ways to print it accurately and neatly and assembling it. Back in the day when old Porsches were relatively inexpensive, unlike my friends, I didn't buy new cars. I bought old Porsches, restored them, drove them, sold them, in the process of tinkering and um, improving Porsches, specifically for motorsport, I ended up with difficult designs that became possible with the uh, advent of 3D printing. And that's how I ended up 3D printing Porsche parts. The first thing I scanned with my Shining 3D scanner was a car. And specifically the rear end of a Porsche to try to improve some of the aesthetics of it. I 3D scan old Porsche parts because they sometimes no longer exist in the market and people need them for restoration purposes. So if I can get a good one, I will 3D scan it in as high quality as I can. Another application is some of the parts after 60, 70 years could be approved upon. So even though the part may exist in the market, there might be improvements um, for modern applications. So then I would also scan it, then redesign it in CAD with modern technology, modern materials, we can often print it better than what it used to be. So I'm not the artist, I'm just the guy who makes the work of the artist more accessible to everyone. How I ended up creating the scale model engine was I had access to a database of so many Porsche parts that I scanned over the years that at some point I realized I could potentially build a little engine using those parts. When I calibrate my 3D printers, I don't use calibration cubes or the normal calibration tools that people tend to use in the industry. So the first part that I actually printed was specifically for that reason. It was an engine block of an old Porsche 911, which is notoriously difficult to print because of the geometry and uh, all the holes and cavities in the part. I kept on trying until I managed to print one. Instead of just building a big one, I made a small one that I can hold in my hand or put on a shelf or in a display that I can enjoy. When people saw the little parts that I made, they, they wanted it. They asked could they buy it. It was a byproduct of me calibrating my equipment. So I just gave them away. And after a while I realized, but this might be a, a business. I have been following 3D scanning technology, but I haven't used one before. And I wasn't impressed with 3D scanners at the time, specifically not their prices. They were hugely expensive. Where the, the Shining 3D product was affordable and it just gave me the same quality as some of the really expensive scanners. In all honesty, I find it very easy to deal with them and their products are easy to use. I think it was in 2015 when I first saw the Einscan scanner and it really impressed me. There was nothing like it at the time. I think I was shown a demo of the scanner. I just knew that I had to have it for my hobby at the time, which then later became my business. And my experience has been positive. Shining 3D listen to their customers. They are very supportive. They implement some of the ideas that their customers have and their products are the better for it, which is fantastic. The Unscan Pro HD enables me to scan small and large objects in incredible detail. There are two reasons why I want really high accuracy. If you design a part that goes into a car and you have an example, then you want it to be perfectly accurate. But if you want to recreate a classic part with all the imperfections and the scratches and the dents, then the only way of doing that accurately is to have a scanner that picks up every little detail. It is very difficult or even impossible to get some geometries into CAD without 
taking thousands of measurements where my 3D scanner makes it possible to grab all the details, get it into CAD, and from there I can use it to design a new part or modify the existing one. From an art perspective, if I want to recreate something that is old and has character, then you can certainly not do that in CAD. You literally take a 3D photo of the object, which is what the scanner does. That includes all the imperfections and everything that makes it unique. It's just a wonderful feeling to see something that was made by hand and then the ability to give it a new lease on life. Thank you.